Hey everybody. I figured, you know, if I'm going to be playing this game at night consistently, might as well make videos. Why not? What I usually do about this time is uh, run through the team event and maybe play a little bit of the recommended adventure. I never get very far, but I go by improving bit by bit. Let's do the team event. Now this team event was particularly difficult. This trick one really gets me. Yep, same event. Nine times out of ten, I crash right off the bat. Totally preventable. I've been watching Vocope, and this is his recommendation. I used to be using the uh, mono wheel, but uh, nine times I, I got so good at it with the mono wheel that I was throwing it over the goal consistently, and this one slows it down enough that I don't th always throw it over the goal. The problem is how often I just you know lose it right here. What? Well, that's a new one. There's always a new one with those stupid ball events. Oh, I forgot I changed my scooter. <laughs> oh well, let's see how far I get with this kit. How often do you guys have that problem where you just totally forget that you've changed your your cars to other kits and then go into the team event and they're all in the wrong stupid kits and you forget to change them and start the level and just when you're done kicking yourself for it you do it again ten minutes later Well, that's pretty typical. Oh well. See, if I, had, if I hadn't caught myself here, I would have done it again. Oh, that's this one. Yep, again, I've been watching Vokope, and this is his method. It doesn't always work for me. i got to let off the gas here so I don't pop up too high. Don't want to fly too far there either because I need the run run up to get speed for this jump. Otherwise, you just won't have enough. And even then, I screw it up half the time. This event stinks. I don't know what that secret juice is for getting that stupid landing or the wheelie boost to fire on this hill right here. It never fires for me. Nope. Ugh. I was doing better the other way. How to go for a safer score. No. Stupid ball. Stay. Alright, remember to change my kit. <laughs> Remembering to change the kit so hard. Derp. That was a total fail. Oh well. Should've, I should have kind of gone up short on that one because I knew I wasn't going to make the jump. It's alright. Honestly, the run up here 
is so unbelievably meaningless. I mean, as long as you get the real critical spot for me is just well, I'm really going to suck today. Getting on top of this hill. That's the big critical one. No! <laughs> Stupid scooter. At least I'm doing better than I've done so far this event. Stupid landing boost. Sometimes I swear it's not firing. It's the only way to explain why I just can't make that stupid jump. Uh, hey, close to 20. <laughs> Crappy score. It's alright. <clears throat> See, it never fires. Ever. I don't know what those guys do. It drives me nuts. Nope. Nah. Got a good start on the scooter this time. I'm gonna come up short here. There's a fine difference that happens between. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Uh, hitting and then jumping, and then jumping before hitting. And it can make all the difference for these stupid jumpy jeep events. That don't get me wrong, I, I like the jumpy jeep. It's it's fun, but it can be so unbelievably aggravating. It, it just, especially when it's just a matter of the stupid landing boost won't fire when it's supposed to. Nope. I have never been able to get out of this trap. Ah, screw it. It's not worth my time. Let's see if I can get this right. Let off the gas a little bit to keep that nose down for this first jump. Hey, I think I did it. Yay! Still lost one more can than I wanted to, but still, that's a heck of a score. Boo yeah! Unfortunately, I screwed up the other two, but meh. All right, adventure says we're going into the beach with the chopper. I want to kit out a chopper for the beach. Let's see. Chopper does like to wheelie, so that's tempting. Um, maybe something like that. Let's try that. I'm kind of nervous about not having the microphone. The beach can be really can be a real pain in the butt about the fuel locations. At least I get to go fast. Landing landing boost is another one that's really good for beach. Because the beach has a lot of good landings. Oh, I'm going to go in the drink. Alright. Bro. 
rocket out of there. Good jump. Not so good jump. <clears throat> if you screw up the jump, landing on your tail is usually a good idea. But it can be difficult to get right. Beep. Almost flipped over backwards there. I, I really like the fire flame, flaming flames coming out of the back of the chopper. It's kind of like, it completes the look, especially with the flaming hand. <laughs> the freaking ghost ray going on. Yes, whew, that was ten. That was close. Boing. Now there's that uh, one level where there's, uh, I think it's in Travel Cup, where it has two of those buildings at the end of the, at the, at the end of the race. And it, it's always my favorite, one of my favorite prestiges to try to break both of them. Not, not every car can do it. Um, I've been able to pull it off with a lot of cars though. Um, usually rally car is a pretty reliable one. Um, I don't know. Rally car is kind of hard because you have to land on your roof on them, basically. Because for some reason, they, the programmers decided that the rally car weighs as much as a feather when it comes to smashing objects. Um, monster truck is really easy to do with that one. And um, same with the racing truck. We got fuel. We can go in. No, no! Oh! Alright, well, let's just let that fall in there and pick up some coins for me for a second. Not that I really need the coins. Alright, let's see. I think it's pretty good, but... I don't know. Let me swap that out for the... Yeah, for the landing boost. I know, I, I really hate doing landing boost and the wheelie boost in the same kit. They almost feel like they're opposites. One wants you to be on both wheels and the other wants you to be on one wheel. So I generally avoid putting those in the same kit. But I don't know, sometimes, you never know. Be a little flexible, try new things. Oh, I kind of have a love or hate relationship with the landing boost. It never seems to fire when you want it to. Skills. No. Well, that was close. Lift off. Didn't fire the wheelie boost. The wheelie boost could be fickle too. Not as fickle as the landing boost, but yeah. Either way, sometimes I'm I'm just so surprised when the landing boost catches. I'm like, oh, I guess I did land good enough for that. <laughs> it's not so common as as you'd think. 
especially at low speeds. And it gives you a good jerk forward, and you know, you're not expecting it. You can really smash your head on something. Whoop! Nope, whoop, that wasn't stupid. Okay. Whoops. Two thousand more meters tonight. I don't know. If I did, what would I change about this kit? I don't think I would. I'm surprised my uh, afterburner's only level three on this car. Car, motorcycle, whatever. Sailing away. I see another one where you're coming down on my tail, save my butt there. Missed it by that much. If you get that reference, but kudos to you. Showing my age. It's a fun kit. I do like this kit. I, I've been paying a lot of attention to politics lately. It's been so demoralizing. There's so much garbage. Can't even tell who to trust anymore. One minute somebody seems super trustworthy. Like they have all the answers that seem to appeal to you. And then you learn that they're just another voice in the crowd. Just as wrong as everybody else. I'll tell you who I got my eye on, though, is uh, James O'Keefe, the guy from Project Veritas. That guy wins lawsuits. And it's so awesome when he does, because <laughs> he's taking on the big boys. Um, I like to see what, what to me, feels like some, some much-needed taking the big tech giants down a peg. Facebooks and Twitters and some of the news outlets like the New York Times, he recently um, won a judgment against them. They tried to dismiss his lawsuit as uh, out of hand and the judge sided with him that it was not dismissible. 
so they, he does have a case that when they report the news and they mix their opinions in, they should have to inform their readers that they have added opinions in. They can't say it's a, a fact-based story and not an op-ed if they've injected a bunch of invective into it. Which is a huge win, I think, because now it, it'll have to be... If he wins all the way, you know, the, the Times and, and other outlets will probably have to follow suit. Uh, make sure that they clearly label what's opinion and what's not, and, and, and separate the two much better than they've done heretofore. Which will be a pretty big win for the world, I think. Or at least the USA, you know? One less possible vector of bad information. I probably shouldn't have done that, but let's let's push through. No, stupid landing boost. That was your that was your time to shine. Ah, so was that. Come on. You. What? 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 Ah! That was almost a huge victory, and then that. I don't know. Was it the stupid uh, the physics engine screwed me over? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Thanks for joining me. Don't mind me rambling. Have a good night.